Well, I've known uh, the CSIRO for many years because uh, the chairman of Telstra was Catherine Livingston. And of course, Catherine was chair of CSIRO going back, what now, 10 years ago. So Catherine has told me a lot about CSIRO over many years. But also my time at IBM, we did a lot of work with um, uh, CSIRO. And then at Telstra, we've had various interactions. I, I think that if I characterised it, they've been stop-start, to be quite honest. Um, and, uh, and yet the more I've got to know about you know, CSR, it, incredible depth of talent and capability. And I think there's just such a wonderful opportunity here. We can talk about that. But So I've, I've known Sarah for, for a long time. It is one of the great brands of Australia, really. You know, Telstra has been a great journey. It's a wonderful Australian company. In fact, has many similar, you know, connections back to the government as uh, CSIRO. Uh, and it's now gone through a privatisation program. But it's a very strong retail brand. It's about you know, a very strong engineering culture. In fact, I would say, a bit like the CSIRO in many ways, it has some of the best engineers, telecommunications engineers, and is known around the world for its leadership, more so than what Australians really rate it. And I think sometimes it's a bit, you're not recognised in your own backyard, and I think CSIRO has some of those similar characteristics where we have outstanding Australian people and we need to really celebrate that and really you know, celebrate their recognition on a global stage. So that's a little bit of my background. Well, I, I have seen enormous change in technology and the rate of change of innovative new ideas and I think we're in a unique period right now. But I remember I come back, you know, in technology terms, I go back to the mainframe and I lived through the PC era and then distributed computing and then the cloud. Well, in fact, I should say the internet and then the cloud and then big data analytics and now artificial intelligence. But we're at a very unique point that impacts research and science uh, right now because the rate of change of technology innovation, I've never seen it happen faster. I spent a lot of time in uh, the US and I spent a lot of time in Europe. And when you start to see this, uh, this technology innovation plus new business models all coming together, this rate of, you know, of change, this rate of innovative ideas, we've never seen a period like it. Because technology is touching everything. I mean, so let's take um, you know, big data or artificial intelligence, even cloud computing. You know, the cost of com com computing is dropping enormously and no matter whether you're a, a scientist or a business person or you know, it's even someone in public policy, you've suddenly got access to this enormous amount of data that can be changed to information that drives into knowledge. And if you can take that and then look at new business models, you can start to change industries, change the way societies work, uh, bring innovation into you know, very thin verticals. I mean, you'd probably see it in food processing, you know, agribusiness, etc. And that's what's so exciting uh, now. But you still need pure science. And you still, but then you need to look at how you can take that and apply it into real life situations. And that could be business or it could be societal. And that's what's so exciting. So I'm seeing an enormous change uh, right around the world. And I've never seen a time where it's touching everything I know. Um, there's been periods when we've had like the PC world you know, era or maybe it was uh, a little bit of the internet, but it, it, it was big, but not this big. So that's what is so exciting now. And I think for the CSIRO, I think we have this unique opportunity to really collaborate and really drive this change for the good of Australia. I think we need to do a better job at attracting people into the science, technology, engineering and mathematics field. The truth is in Australia at the moment uh, that we're not getting enough you know, people coming through, the, you know, both tertiary, even coming through at secondary school. And it's such a wonderful career. Uh, it's, uh, 
you know, it's, it's stimulating, it's great people, um, you know, it's challenging. And that's what you look for in a career. I mean, yes, you look for money, but there's other things that people look for and they want to make it, if you want to make a difference, I'd say go for that career. And I think we as a community working in, you know, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, we need to reach out more and to talk about, you know, how good it is. And it's not, you know, sometimes you get, you know, the geeks brigade. It's not. It'd be wonderful, rich people. And that you can make a difference in society. And that's what gets people excited. So I don't have a, I don't find it hard to talk about, you know, what a wonderful career you can have. And I think CSIRO is the pinnacle organisation where people aspire to come to work. And that is just wonderful. So we need to encourage that. But we want to create... You know, lots of different opportunities right across the industry, all industries, because science and technology, engineering, mathematics is such a critical part of it.